Hello, my name is Stephen Parry. And when I was your age, I had already decided what I wanted to do with my life, what I wanted to do as a job. Now, not all of you will have decided so far what you want to do for a career, but that doesn't matter. I'm here today to hopefully help you start thinking about what business you would like to be in. And speaking of business, the business I wanted to be in from the first day of school ever was show business. Now, I, on my first day ever, asked the headmistress if I could organize a play and write a play on the first Friday of the first week of school ever in my life. Now, Mrs. Jones, the headmistress, was a little bit shocked, but luckily for me, she said yes. And on the Friday, the first Friday of my school ever, I was starring in my own play that I'd written. I was playing the lead role. I'd given smaller parts to my friends and those who didn't want to be in the play had to sit and they had to clap. And it all went absolutely brilliantly. Now, after the show was over, the headmistress came to me and said in Welsh, well done, and I said, please miss, can I do another play next Friday? And the following Friday, I played another lead role in a play that I wrote. It wasn't very good, but it didn't matter. At the time, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. My friends played smaller parts and everybody else clapped. And that's what happened every week of my school time, all through school till I was about 11. Then I went to the big school. And when I was in the big school, I was then in every show and every production you could possibly think of. And because of that, that's what I decided that I was going to do for money. That's what I decided I wanted to do as a career. Now, not everyone in your class today wants to be in show business, but you may want to run a shop. You may want to be a hairdresser. You may want to be a ballerina. You may want to be a builder. You may want to be a brain surgeon. You may want to be a teacher. You may want to fill in the holes on the side of the road. Any job is possible. But the biggest tip I can give all of you is choose a job later on in life that you are absolutely going to love. I've loved my job. I've never, on a Sunday night, you'll never hear me going, oh, I've got work tomorrow. Why? Because I'm still doing my hobby. And wouldn't it be brilliant if all you could have your hobbies or your pastimes or your favorite things you like doing as a job? And people would pay you to do that. ka -ching! That would be absolutely brilliant. And that's what I'm going to do today to help you. Now, have any of you decided yet what you want to be? Some of you have, and some of you haven't. The first tip I would say is don't choose to do a job for the rest of your life that you're never going to be happy in, because we all need to be happy. Can you imagine having to get up every morning and go to do a job that you don't like? That's not going to make anybody happy at all. So maybe you could choose a hobby or something you like doing after school or something you like doing in the playground in school. Who knows? Some of you may want to be a footballer. Somebody may want to play tennis. You could do this as a job. Now, the first thing I want you to do today is to get into groups of two or three or four, not yet. When I finish and I pause this video, I want you to get into groups with people in your class. There can be two of you, 
three of you or four of you, your teacher will help there. And what I want you to do is to make a list on a piece of paper. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. And I want you to write down a list of all the things that the whole group like doing, all separately. But if one person likes tennis, write tennis down. If somebody else likes playing post office, like I did when I was a child, I used to be stamping envelopes all day long, write that down. But just make a list of all the hobbies between the whole group. And then when I come back, I'm going to take you all to the next exciting stage. So when I pause this, your teacher is going to take over, you're going to get into groups of two, three or four people and you're going to make a list of your hobbies or your favourite pastimes. I will see you in a minute. Now I'm back in the room. So I hope you now have got a list of all the things your group like doing and you're probably wondering what is Stephen going to be asking us to do next I am going to ask you to just listen to this story very very carefully and then all will become clear a couple of years ago I met two young gentlemen who wanted to start a business together one loved flowers and the other one loved singing and they wondered how they could make a business together by putting the two ideas together and creating something that would bring them money, bring them happiness and bring them a career. So they thought very hard and the person who liked flowers went off to train to be a florist, a person who sells flowers and sells flowers for weddings and funerals and parties and gifts. And the other one went off to train to be an opera singer. Then they came back together and they opened a cafe down in Cardiff Bay called Sunflower and I. And it's the most beautiful building. And what it is, is a cafe where you can have a cup of coffee, a piece of cake, a bite to eat, a glass of wine if you're old enough but also you can buy flowers there you can buy the flowers that are on the table making the room look absolutely beautiful so you can see where the florist where the person who likes the flowers can be working and be happy but what about the singer well they've got a piano in this cafe and during the evening the other gentleman will sing classical opera and it's a small concert venue so people go there they pay they have a drink of wine or a, a glass of pop a piece of cake and he will sing for them and if he doesn't want to sing that night he will bring other friends in and in the evening therefore it is a cab it's a show bar it's a cabaret bar where you can buy flowers so you can see you can put two ideas together and make them work as a unique idea because in towns and cities there are hundreds and thousands and millions and trillions of different cafes but whatever business you do you have to make it unique you have to make it stand out why would people want to come to you so if I want a cup of coffee I would go there because the room's beautiful it smells of flowers if I need to buy flowers can buy flowers and I can have a concert at the same time if I like so they are absolutely unique there is no other cafe like that that I have ever ever seen so now I'm going to pause this video again for a couple of minutes you're going to get back into your groups and your teacher will tell you how to do that and I want you to start discussing putting one or two of the ideas together and coming up with an idea for a business. For example, if somebody likes going on holiday in a caravan and somebody else likes hairdressing, maybe you could put a caravan hairdresser shop together where you had a caravan in the middle of a caravan site where everyone could go and have their hair cut. Or if you, for example, 
like cake and somebody else wants to be a lorry driver, well, maybe you could create a business where lorries, refrigerated cold lorries, will be able to take cakes all around the country. You can do anything here. Nothing is too bonkers. Nothing is too silly. Be it as imaginative as you want to be. Imagine, for example, if somebody likes going on holiday and somebody also likes their pets. Well, maybe you could create a, a hotel where you can take your pets. Who knows? This is all up to you. I want you to be as creative as you possibly can and think of putting ideas together that are going to make you happy forever. I'm going to pause now and I will be back with you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back in the room again. I hope you enjoyed putting those ideas together and I can't wait to hear later how those ideas have worked. But first of all, what we've got to think about is a name for the company. For example, my company has done events. I help people put presentations together. I am a creative person and I put shows on, like I told you earlier, since the age of three. So I called my company Mr. Producer. Why? Because it's a catchy name and I produce, I make things happen. So the name of the company is something you will remember. Now, if you also remember the other story I told you about the boys who created the company Sunflower and I, well, that idea came from somebody liking flowers and then one other person, Sunflower and I. He could have called it Sunflower and Singer, maybe. However, I do think Sunflower and I works. So now I want you to decide in your groups, when your teacher puts you back in the groups, when I pause this video again, I want you to come up with a brilliant name for your company. Maybe it's putting a couple of words together. Maybe it's a name you make up. And what does it look like? What does the name look like? Maybe you can draw it down for us to have a look. Maybe it looks like a logo. You know, my, my logo for my company is Mr. Producer and it's in big block capital purple letters. How is the name of your company going to look and what is the name of the company? Think hard about this one and I will be back with you very, very shortly. So now I hope that you've got a really good name for your business, a name that everyone will remember. But now as a group, I want you to think who's going to be doing what jobs in their company. For example, I, when I was at school, when I was your age, was never very good at maths. So in my company, Mr. Producer, I don't have anything to do with the accounts because I'm not very good at it. I found a job that I'm good at. I think of ideas and I make things happen. So I'm the producer and I am the front man because it doesn't bother me about talking in front of people. I quite enjoy it. So now within your group and within your business, I want you to decide who's going to do what job? So if someone's very good at maths, maybe they want to look after the accounts. If somebody's very chatty, maybe they want to be the front person on the desk. Maybe you've got a reception area. I don't know what your ideas are. Somebody may be funny. And if you're funny, maybe you'll know how to help sell your product or your business. Just think what other things you're good at in school that'll help you define what job you're going to have within, in which department you are going to work within your business. Work that out with yourselves now. Your teacher will put you back in your groups and I will see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, hopefully, hopefully now you have got a name for your company, you've decided what job you're going to do within the company, and you've got this vision of what you want to create together. 
Now, this is really the exciting bit. What I want you to do now is to start deciding how you're going to present your business idea to the rest of the class. Now, maybe one person, the chosen person from the group, will explain to the rest of the class what their business idea is. Maybe you'll all do it together, a couple of lines each. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be complicated. But I want you to be able to sell your ideas to the rest of the class. So get back in your groups. Your teacher will help you with that and decide who is going or who are going to be the speakers and how you're going to tell the rest of the class what your business idea is and then have a rehearsal and then I'll be back with you to say goodbye and hopefully by then you will be a fantastic success. See you in a mo. Okay, I hope that went well and you've decided who are going to be the speakers or if it's one speaker or if everybody's speaking, it is totally up to you. Now the next and final task is that you are going to each at a time in a group, stand up and present your business idea to the rest of the class. There are a few rules here Whoever is presenting, everybody else who's listening has to listen and I want them to applaud and give them a round of applause at the end. I don't want the other groups talking and talking about their idea and getting ready for when they do it. I want everyone to listen to everybody's idea and be fair. I want everyone to be listening as much as you'd like your idea be listened to. Does that make sense? Now, good luck, everyone. Take a deep breath. It is going to be brilliant. I bet all your ideas are fantastic. And what you've got to remember is whatever ideas you come up with now, they really could be what you want to be when you're older. You could decide today what you want to be when you're my age or even a little bit younger. I decided at the age of three, and I've got a nice house a nice car and a lovely life doing my hobby and I'm really happy and I hope you can do exactly the same as that in the line of work you want to follow. Remember there is only one person stopping you from doing anything in the world and that's yourself. So that means you can do whatever you want. The only thing I would say before I say goodbye is Make sure that you are always the best version of yourself. Be the best version of you. I hope you've enjoyed today. I have. My name is Stephen Parry, and I will see you soon. Ta-da!